Yo, what up guys? Welcome back. We're going to be going over some EverQuest commands today. And if you're not aware of it, if you, on my website, if you go up to leveling and setup, go down to EQ set, new returning players. I actually have a video guide out already on like the basic um, EverQuest setup process. And there's some basic commands here right now. Uh, it's not updated with every single um, command quite yet, but by the time this video is out, I will have a full list of everything I talk about this in this video um, on the website. So you can follow along if you want uh, while you watch. Now, there are hundreds, maybe thousands of commands. So I'm going to try to touch on the most important ones. And I'm obviously going to miss some because there's just so many of them. So uh, if you're a uh, veteran player, maybe you'll learn something from this video as well. So uh, yeah, let's get started. We're going to first go over some of the display commands. So like what you see while you're playing the actual game. Uh, the first one is um, the titles. You can actually toggle all of these titles with uh, show names. So you can go, if you just type in show names, you'll see down here it says uh, one through six. So you got six options for that. If you do one, it does first names, two, first and last name, three, first, last, and guild name. Four will show everything. Five will just do your title and the first name. And six will do uh, title, first name, and last name. You can also do a toggle uh, to turn them all off or on completely. So I have them on all right. I have them all on right now. So if we turn them off, everyone disappears and then we can turn them back on just like that. So if you're rating, you might want to uh, turn off names so there's not a bunch of clutter all over your screen. Next is the hide models command. This will actually allow you to hide um, actual player models. This is this came out a few years ago. It's, a, it's fairly new, uh, but you can type in hide models players and it will hide everyone um, other than the pets. You can see, I can still see the pets here. Or you can do hide models all. This will hide all models, but you can still see people's like weapons and stuff like that. And to turn it off, you just type in hide models none, and it'll bring you back um, to the regular mode. All right, up next, we have the hide corpse command. You can do all kinds of things um, regarding uh, visibility of corpses. So I typed in um, hide corpse none, and this will kind of bring you back to the default where nothing's ever hidden. So if you loot it, or if you kill it, and you don't loot it yet, you're gonna see all corpses no matter what. So let's create a couple corpses here. We'll kill these things. And hopefully there's some items on them so they don't disappear in the middle of the video. Um, so yeah, hide models none is the default, and you can actually hide all of the corpses. If you type in hide corpse all, and to go back to default, we'll go back to none. And you can also do um, hide corpse always NPC. So what this will do is it hides all corpses currently and it will hide all future corpses too. So if I kill this bat, its corpse should disappear right after I kill it. So you see I killed it and now the corpse is gone. So that's hide models or hide corpse NPC. And then you can just do um, hide corpse NPC, which will only hide current corpses. So if I kill these, here all right we got three corpses if i do high corpse npc it's going to hide all current npc corpses but if i kill a snake it's going to keep showing so it only does the active corpses at the time you press the command and you can also do hide corpse looted which is really good for, for uh, sifting through a large amount of of corpses so if we do um, hide corpse looted and generally every time you type one of these in it's going to override the previous command um, so let's see here. Let's put all this on the ground. All right. Okay, so we have we have this uh, orc here. And then we'll click leave on corpse. Now it should still be here. But if we go to loot it in normal mode, and then we close it, you'll see its corpse disappeared. But I didn't actually loot anything. So if we type in hide corpse none to see it again, the corpse is actually still there. So that's hide corpse looted. Um, if you're not using the loot window or you're trying to loot something from a different group and there's like a big pile of mobs, that's mostly when you want to use that. All right, let's talk about some trading commands. Um, most people know these. If you type in slash baz for slash short for bizarre, you can bring up the bizarre window and you can use this from anywhere in the game. If you want to open up a trader to sell your items, you need to be over here in the red side of the bizarre and stand on one of these wooden planks. And you can type in trader. This will open up the trader window. Uh, you're going to need trader satchels um, from a vendor and you just fill up all your uh, items in those satchels and you can sell stuff. Uh, next we have slash barter. So if we want to look for somebody who has a buyer set up, we can uh, type in slash barter and then it'll open up this window right here. And we can see there's three people currently buying chronos right now. So if we want to go over there 
and sell a kernel for them to them that's how much they'll pay us and then to actually open up one of those buyers that um, these people have set up you need to be over here in this blue area so let's go over there real quick uh, so next we have the buy window and this is if you want to buy something so if you type in slash buy uh, you can only use this command in the uh, bazaar it'll say barter buyer window so keep that in mind that's different than the actual barter window so here's barter if you're looking for a buyer and then here is um, slash buy which is the buyer if you're actually the buyer so let's say I want to buy a chrono I can hit search chrono will pop up and I say I'll give you you know 35,000 platinum and there's one I want I'll, I'll buy one of them I'll hit create buy and then you can hit start barter and then when you uh, have that set up you're gonna see your own thing in the auction window so I'm sorry in the barter window so if you go over to barter you type in chrono again you're gonna see the list of people who are buying and there's me right here I will give you 35k uh, for a chrono all right some basic targeting commands I have my enchanter here um, he's targeted and you'll see he's targeting Nayar Cogsman uh, the most common one is I can assist him and it will change my target to Nayar Cogsman uh, one command that you can do is you notice my auto attack turned on when I did that so see it's off right now when I hit assist it turns on now there's a way to toggle that on and off you can do assist on or assist off I recommend having it assist off at all times otherwise when you target something auto attacks gonna turn on you might like break a mess or this is kind of annoying in general when you're not um, toggling your own attack and there's like something doing it for you so me personally I like to have that off and another thing you can do is you can type in target name so like for example uh, my channel's name Zarden target Zarden and it will target him automatically now this will work on NPCs too but a lot of the time there's like a hidden character in an NPC name so for example if you want to target like if you're in uh, if you're in um, if you're like near a, a mob you have to be within range of the mob we can type in like let's say tracking on for example target tracking on and you, you have to type in um, underscore zero zero and that might go up to different numbers depending on how many uh, mobs there are up of that mob type so if it's a trash mob and there's like 10 mobs with the same name uh, you're going to have to toggle through all of them uh, to find the one you're possibly looking for so another command that's useful it's not exactly targeting but it's kind of similar is percent t so if i have my enchanter targeted i type in uh in group chat percent t it will actually populate his name or percent t is so if i say pulling percent t to camp it'll say pulling his art into camp so and then if i target myself it'll say pulling cousin to camp so that's a really nice macro um people like to put that into hotkeys when they're pulling and there's other reasons you might need it as well if you just want to like display a name in guild chat without actually having to type it out um it's really nice for that as well there's a couple other chat commands you can do you can do like percent s and it'll tell you like he or she and you can also do percent o and it'll give you him or her a nice one for trade skills or fishing is auto inventory and this will automatically put any item that you have on your cursor back into your inventory so if i pick up this uh, decrepit hide here i'll type in auto inventory you see it disappears and it goes straight back into my inventory uh, one of the most common commands in the game is auto follow you can just type in slash fol short for follow and it will follow any character that you target it does not work on npcs only pcs to see if i move my enchanter around i will follow him all right a few hotkey commands um not everybody knows these they're kind of they're not expert level by any means but they're kind of like uh more of a seasoned player would be, be more likely to use these if you type in slash ho which is short for hotkey uh you got to put a name in so if you type in like ho sup y'all it'll make a hotkey called sup y'all on your cursor and you can kind of put that on your uh, hot bar and you can right click it and you can make a uh, hot button really quickly one thing that you can put into a hotkey is the uh, bandolier and if you actually click on your bandolier uh, button for me it just be it'll bring up this window you can click create hot button so i have like this eoe set here and if i right click on that you'll see it says uh, bandolier activate eoe so this is an actual command that you can put into um, hotkeys if you want so if i put it in sup y'all um, for instance, I could type it in right here, um, but some examples of one I have, my actual EOE one, you'll see I have one here. I just threw it on uh, my hot bar, so I got the actual EOE one right here. And I got one for my shield, so I actually have uh, 
activate shield and I have auto scale bash both in the same hotkey. So this will swap to bash at the same time that I activate my shield. And if I want to go back to my one handers, it'll uh, put auto scale kick in same time I activate my one handers. And we'll talk about auto scale in a little bit. There's also the command alt and you can do a lot of different things with this command. Um, it, alt is short for alternate advancement. Um, you can turn your AA on which will put you at 100%. You can turn um, type in Alt Off, which will put you at 0%. If you type in Alt On, and then you put in a number, so typically if you're using these buttons, you can only go up or down in increments of 10%. But if you type in Alt On, let's say like 56, this will put you exactly at 56%. You can actually put your hotkeyable AAs into a regular hotkey as well, so you can use it at the same time as other commands. Um, you're going to do that with the alt activate command and then you're going to need a number now you can get the numbers um, from a list you can either look at one online it's going to be a huge list it's going to be giant um, you can do an um, alt list here in game as well and it'll show you um, some of these aas that i'm actually able to hotkey so if i wanted to um, do like a glyph of dragon scales for instance you'll see it gives you an ability number of 5104 so i would type in slash alt space activate and then put in 5104 and when i hit enter it's going to use a glyph of dragon scales if i had one purchased so uh, it's kind of similar um, to the disc command and you can actually put discs into things as well you just do like slash disc we'll do it with furious here disc furious discipline and you'll see it use my furious discipline just like that so um, those are two um, hotkeys that you can throw into like a uh, a manual hockey that you make a couple other random ones here is a slash char info. This will tell you where you're bound at, and also if you have a secondary or a third bind point, it'll list that as well. Um, you can do slash played. This will give you your play time. Um, you can do slash key, and it'll give you all the keys that you have. And also you can do um, slash log, and you can toggle your logging on or off. It's going to monitor um, all your chat boxes and put it into a text file into your EverQuest folder. Next we have the auto skill command. This is gonna be mostly melee oriented. Maybe some hybrids can use it as well. Um, but at level 61, you get auto skill. Um, warriors, for example, they can auto skill bash and auto skill kick. So once you turn, you can only have one of the two turned on at a time, but it will automatically do either of these abilities for you on cooldown, which is a really nice quality of life improvement. Um, so just keep that in mind when you hit level 61. All right, basic social commands. A lot of people are gonna know these. Um, you can type in slash tell. And then player name, send somebody a tell. If you type in slash R, it will reply to the last person who sent you a tell. I can do slash EM, which is short for emote. It can be like, uh, Kezin uh, loves himself. Okay, there you go. I can type in anonymous. Uh, can, well, I'm on role play right now. So if you're like in regular mode, you can type in anonymous, go anonymous, type it again, turn it off. Uh, role play mode will um, show your guild tag, but it will hide your location. Um, but your guild can see still see where you're at in role play mode i mean there's a command guild status so if i type in on my channel and i type in guild status whether he's anonymous or not i can see the rank that he is in his guild and i can also see his guild tag so if you're in the same zone as somebody and you target them um you can see what their status is for their guild or uh, you can type in who all friends and you can actually hotkey that into a key and if i hit that you can see i have uh very little friends i have myself and guildmate I can type in who all guild and this will show everyone that's in your guild. I think it's only up to 20 players though. Um, if it's an all command, it will cut off after 20 players. Um, you can actually do who all guild name too. So if I do who all, but I put a bracket or like a, uh, like a quotation, I can do the other guild on our server, uh, charge the layer and it will show me everyone that's online in their guild who's not anonymous. Um, so you can, or just who has their guild tag showing so if they're either role player or anonymous they'll show up and then you can also do filters based on level and class so if i do who all 65 war which is short for warrior it'll show you me i'm the only 65 warrior online right now who's not anonymous and if we do like a cleric uh, you'll see there's 165 cleric on as well does this mean agnar is dead all right, we'll go over some channel commands I got on, on an alt so I don't mess up all my channels on my main character. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my UI here, but you can type in um, join and we'll do like um, Google. And you'll see over here, put me in channel Google. Now, if you want to make a channel with a password, you can do like 
join Google, Amazon. And now the channel has a password, a password on it. You can also do auto join. Um, so if you do like auto join Google um, colon Amazon and you put like a comma in there, you can do uh, Amazon Google. So we'll reverse them for the second channel. And it says set cha channels to be joined at login, Google, Amazon, Amazon, Google. So let's re-log really quick. So I logged back in and you can see it joined the Google and Amazon channels. However, EverQuest is a piece of crap and it wouldn't let me join the second channel. And that's not related to what we did here. It's just EverQuest sucks sometimes and sometimes it doesn't work. Um, but some other commands you can do is you can do like auto join add and you can put in like a uh, face colon butt. And now you'll see it added face butt to the list of, to be joined at login. You can also remove one. So you do auto join, remove, and we'll put in the, uh, we'll remove the second one here. We'll do Amazon, Google. And you'll see it took that out of the list. So now it's just gonna join uh, Google, Amazon, and Facebook. Well, you can also leave a channel manually if you want. So if I join one, so we'll join, uh, we'll join channel face. All right, and then we can actually just leave channel face by typing leave two. So that'll leave it only for this session, but when you re-log again, it'll put you back in the channel. Uh, there's also a command announce on and off. So when you turn it on, it, you'll receive a message when someone enter or leaves the chat channel. So if I'm in uh, Amazon right now, I will join it over here on my channel on the other screen. So we'll join Amazon Google. And it should pop up here. So you see, yep, Zarden has entered channel Amazon uh, number one. And just to speak in it, you just type in whatever number it is. So I can type in like test. And now I'm talking in Amazon one. Put it over in this window because I don't have my filters uh, set up right. But you see, that's how you type in it. And that's there, there's more. There's like moderation commands and things like that. But I'm not going to get into all those here. Uh, I think that's enough um, for basic chat command channel commands. Uh, there's the command chat font size that will increase or decrease the size of the font in your chat box. And it goes from 0 to 10. So if I type in chat font size, all one word, you can see I can change this to a bunch of different things. So if you have like a high resolution monitor where the UI is scaled down or you just can't see that well, um, this is a really good command uh, for changing the font size. All right, so two other miscellaneous commands. Uh, the first one is slash ADV loot. You actually, I think maybe just ADV, does that work? ADVL. So short as it can get is ADVL. And this will bring up the advanced loot window so you can loot things. And also if you type in the ACH, uh, this will bring up the achievement window really fast so you can go through there and look at all your achievements. Next is the block spell command. Now you can actually block spells if you go over here to the EverQuest button, character, and blocked buffs. You'll see there's a block buffs section. And there's also a blocked pet buffs section if you have a pet. So there's a command version of this too. You type in slash block spell and it'll give you the usage for it. Um, you can block spell action, target, and spell number. So action, you can either display a, a spell, add it, remove it, or clear it. Um, for your target, it's either going to be yourself or your pet if you're a pet class. And you're also going to need a spell number ID and you can find this on the internet. So an example that I have here is block spell add. Um, so you want to add a block spell, me, and then you put in the spell number right here. And you can also do, like, they have another usage uh, for display pet, so it'll show you all the block spells on your pet. So if I do, like, block spell display me, since I don't have a pet, you can see all these spells I have blocked right here. So this is really nice if you want to toggle it on and off at will in the uh, middle of a group or in the middle of a raid. There's also some corpse commands. I don't have any corpses to work with, so we're just going to look at it here on the website. You have corpse drag, and this will literally just drag a player's corpse, and the corpse will follow you as you move. And you can do this up on up to two corpses uh, simultaneously, so you can drag two corpses wherever you want. And then if you want to drop the corpse while it's following you, um, you just click corp target the corpse and click uh, slash corpse drop. Uh, to just move it one little uh, click at a time, you can just do slash corpse. And there's two ways to do um, a, a consent. So like what a consent is, is going to allow another player to drag your corpse. And you can also do it through the options window. So you can automatically consent your guild. You can consent your uh, group and you can consent your raid. I recommend turning all of those on because if you don't have that, people are going to be uh, telling you to turn it on. 
uh, but you can type in slash consent player if you need to do it to a specific player manually who is not in any of those other options. All right, that's everything. I hope you learned something, and please make sure to like the video, and please subscribe. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.